Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this bold, colorful party invitation poster. This tutorial is in two parts. I provided a Photoshop file that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. It includes this black background with positioned guidelines and the silhouette of a beer bottle. If you don't see the guidelines, press Ctrl H on a PC or Command H on a Mac. Click off the thumbnail of the beer bottle to hide it. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. If it isn't, just click on it. Open your rectangular marquee tool, go to the top left corner of the guidelines, and drag out a rectangle to the lower right corner. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. Click on the foreground color box and when the color picker opens type in 00CCFF. Then click OK or press enter or return. The foreground color is now the color you typed in. We'll fill the selection with that color by pressing Alt Delete on a PC or Option Delete on a Mac. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. Make the beer bottle visible and click on the thumbnail to make it active. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Now that we have the layer mask next to the beer bottle, we can temporarily hide it. We won't be needing snap anymore, so click on it to deactivate it. Open your horizontal type tool and choose a sans serif font. I'm using Futurist Fixed Width. If you'd like to use it, I provided that link as well. I'll choose a large point size of 222, sharp, and left alignment. Click on the color box and pick black. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to Window and click Character. The character panel will open. For this font, I'll type in minus 400 for tracking. If you're using a different font, you'll want to type in a much smaller number, maybe even zero. Tracking is the amount of space between characters. Type out your text. To close the space between two characters, place your cursor between them and press Alt or Option plus the left arrow key on your keyboard. Let's move the text to the upper left corner of the blue area. Click on your Move tool to reposition it. Reduce its opacity to approximately 25% so you can see through it. Move your text so the inside edges are flush with the edge of the blue color. Now we can increase the opacity back to 100%. Let's fill in the inside of the letters with bright primary colors. Go to Layer, Rasterize, Type. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of the text to make a selection of its shape. Invert the selection by pressing Control Shift I on a PC or Command Shift I on a Mac. Hide it by pressing Control or Command H. Open your pencil tool and choose a medium sized tip with a hardness of 100%. Click on your foreground color and pick a bright rich red. Then press enter or return. Paint inside one of the letters. If you make a mistake, press Ctrl or Command Z to undo the last step. Click on the color box again and this time pick a golden yellow. FFC 106. Press enter or return and paint inside another letter. Pick a rich blue for the third color. Delete the hidden selection by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Next we'll create the hot dog. Open your rounded rectangle tool and choose shape. Click on fill and the color picker. Type in 9D4E14 then press enter or return. Make sure there's no stroke. 
The symbol for this includes a diagonal red line. Make the radius 80 pixels, click on the gear icon and choose unconstrained. Go to the left edge of the blue background and drag out an elliptical shape approximately this size. We're going to bend both ends up a little bit. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool and click on the Warp Transform icon. Open the Warp Custom tab and click Arc. Bend it minus 15 percent and click on the check mark to accept it. If this message pops up, click Yes. Click on the Move tool or press V on your keyboard. Move your image so the left edge and bottom are flush with the black frame. Click on the FX icon and choose Inner Shadow. The blend mode is Multiply, the color is black, and the opacity is 72 percent. The angle is minus 90 degrees, the distance is 5 pixels, and the size is 50 pixels. Click on Gradient Overlay and the gradient bar. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. Type in a dark brown color 301304. Click OK. Click on the lower right stop and the color box. This time type in C66815. Click OK on the color picker and the gradient editor. Make the scale 72 percent and change the blend mode to overlay. Make sure the gradient style is linear. Then click OK. Next we'll add mustard to the hot dog. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. We'll name it mustard. Open your rounded rectangle tool again. Click on the fill color box, the color picker, and click on the yellow color inside one of your letters. Go to the left of the hot dog and drag out an elliptical shape to approximately this length and depth. Open your transform tool, click on the warp transform icon, and choose arc again. This time make the bend minus 10 percent. To accept it press enter or return. If this window pops up, click Yes. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. If this window pops up, click OK to rasterize the shape. Make the number of generators 1, the wavelength 10 and 121, the amplitude 5 and 21, the scale 100 percent, the type is sine, and the undefined areas is repeat edge pixels. Then click OK. Double click on the thumbnail of the mustard layer to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. Make the style Inner Bevel, the Technique Smooth, the Depth 100 percent, the Direction Up, the Size 22 pixels, and Soften it 7 pixels. Uncheck Global Light. Make the angle 132 degrees and the altitude 26 degrees. Change the Highlight Blend Mode to Color Dodge and change its opacity to 58 percent. Make the Shadow Blend Mode Linear Burn and make its opacity 38 percent. Click Drop Shadow. Make the Blend Mode Multiply and the opacity 22 percent. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 90 degrees. Make the distance 5 pixels and the size 5 pixels. Then click OK. I'd like to move the mustard up a little so I'll open my Move tool and move it. In Part 2 we'll add the text, the beer bottle, and the yellow sun in the upper right corner. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.